Guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do an EDC update for December, baby. Today is the 12th, 13th of December, and I'm actually out. Let me just check. I thought I had a little apple pie cream there. Uh, so she said, um, I'm out right now. I'm at my parents. Uh, my kiddo was sick. Yesterday, uh, had an ear infection, so I took her to the doctor today, and we're still driving all the way to the old town to get to the doctor. Um, in the process of transferring, but so we stopped at my parents after they're watching her right now, and um, had a chance to make a quick video. So, you know, I took that chance. Um, yeah, not much is different, but there are some. Actually, I guess there are quite a few things that are different. First off. Rocking the beard, baby. Uh, I went for No Shave November. And then my buddy Javon hooked me up with a link to some beard uh, wash and conditioner. And that really, really helped because I usually cut the mustache because it just gets so annoying. Um, but as long as I've been doing that every day, it's definitely uh, not been super annoying. So I'm just letting it grow. Um, Got a new Devo hat. This one's in the coal colorway. Um, we are going to do a drop at some point. I think we're going to wait till like January just because of the holidays. And we have the Lush drop actually tomorrow, my time. It'll be over by the time you guys see this. So if they're still available, um, they'll be at traditionalpocketknives.com. Um, and they're going to be $199, S90V. And um, let me grab one. S90V titanium fat carbon. You can get lava flow, arctic, or uh, 80s camo carbon. And um, it's not the biggest drop in the world. Uh, we have 300 units total. Um, we held a couple back to take the show. So it's probably going to be closer to like 270 that drop. Um, but um, hopefully you got one if you wanted one. And if they're still available, go check it out. Um, we appreciate all your guys' support on our models. It, it really is um, just amazing. So thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I love this knife. Been carrying it every day since they came in. Um, reverse flick, front flip. You got the top flipper up here. Um, you got the reach around move. Right here. Yeah. Um, I can even thumb flick this guy pretty well. You could slow roll it out. Um, you can, ow, I haven't tried this left-handed. You can roll back it. I mean, you got lots of options with this guy. You do have to get used to it. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to be getting some messages when they come in. Like, I can't flick it. I can't, you know, and it just takes a minute. You just got to use it and carry it. Um, but you quickly learn when you flick it, you just kind of push the opposite way. So I push in basically this way and then flick and it'll fire out of there like a cannon. Um, if you just kind of do this, it'll be a little softer. It should still be fine, but it'll be a little softer. And the lower you go on the fuller, the easier it is to fail, right? But again, still works just fine. Um, thumb flick, you just dig in. Give it a, I give it a little wrist flick just to help it along and it pops out of there. But the front flipper is where you need to learn. You got to come up right under that corner right here and then just put pressure and pop it back. Works like a goddamn dream. And then up top, you come up front. You don't come to the back because then you don't have enough leverage to come around all the way really. But if you get right up in the front in the middle there, you got plenty of leverage to bick lighter it across the goal line. Um, and then of course the jimping's nice and aggressive. You just got to get past this part right here, grab and pull. So hopefully that helps some of you guys. Great cutter, great carry with that wire clip. Um, feels great in the hand. I think for 199, definitely a solid offering, but, um, you know, my knife company, my knife. So, uh, I'm just preaching to the choir here. Sorry about the sun can't really control that. I tried to park in a better spot, but that didn't help. I'm also carrying my Jack Wolf knives. Feel good, Jack. Um, I don't know if it's released yet, but um, this guy is in my knife of the year 
videos and uh, you guys will see where it ranks but uh I love it love it very very much um funny thing is when I got it out for the uh videos knife of the year videos it had some rust on it <laughs> um but it's because I cut I think I cut an apple or something for my kid when I carried it last a couple of weeks ago and I just didn't put the wax the wicked wax or the oil on it when after I did that must not have cleaned it well enough but it came right off I didn't have any issues with it um, so anyway, I've been carrying it for a few days again now, and man, this thing has probably seen more pocket time than any knife this year. Just such a dream to carry and use. So slim and slicey, full hollow grind, but small. It's got that sort of pen style grip. And then, man, the walk and talk on this Lehman Cello one I have is just next level next level good love it and of course northwoods leather work slip love troy's work that ghost leather so one of the big changes this month is flashlights i have been a carrying a flashlight dedicated i think for the longest time um I always carried a micro click from CWF or something like that. Um, but I've gotten into custom flashlights, which the CWF is, but that was the only one I really had. And I've gone down the rabbit hole of just trying new customs. I have like 12 now or something. And I've gotten into larger flashlights. So this is like a triple emitter 18350 size battery light where the micro click is like triple A size 10440. This is the um, Over Ready Boss, B-O-S-S, -S, which is big output, small size, I think. And this thing is an absolute beast. It's also really unique in the custom flashlight world where pretty much everything has a McClicky switch um, and runs on one of like two different drivers. You know, you have the Dragon driver where you can get secondary colors and then you have the Dr. Jones driver where you don't, but you have a ton of uh, customization with the with the modes and everything. And then you have people like Okluma and Focusworks that have models where it's just low, medium, high, and that's it, right? You don't get to program it, which in a lot of cases is good, right? It's better for people. Um, but this guy is different. This has a Lux RC driver which is a Russian driver. And essentially what it means is you program this sucker from your phone or your laptop, whatever you want to do. But basically you go to a website and you just go on a screen and you pick what you want, right? So like for me, I set it to, uh, you know, uh, secondary color, moonlight, and then like, uh, you know, 1.4% power. 14% power, 29% power, and 100% power, right? And then you can select like no memory, you can select some battery uh, settings, you can select, there's a sensor in here for proximity. You can set, set all that and then you click program and this box appears on the screen and all of a sudden it just starts flashing, like white flashes. And you have to put this into program mode, which is, it's, once you get it, it's pretty simple. You just have to hold down and then double tap, double tap, double tap, and let go. And you get, you know, I'll do videos on all that. And then you literally just put this up to your screen, just right up to the screen like this on that box. It does the flashes, and then it programmed your light to whatever you wanted. It's fucking insane. I mean, that's some really cool shit right and you can have up to four groups on it they call them series so i can program four separate series and then switch between those which is pretty cool to be able to do that uh this also has the momentary off switch or moff switch which is different than the mcclicky this is always on and then when you click it actually and you hold down it cuts the power so it's actually always on in some sense. Now, I'm not sure if it drains battery the whole time or what. Uh, if it does, it's very, 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 very minimal. 
but you can actually because of that you can set it up to have like a beacon to where it'll flash every three seconds or something like that and then you can locate your flashlight wherever or if you're like camping or whatever and you just want to be able to always find it you can set it into that and then it'll just blink um which it's just wild what you can do with this but um, here's the secondary color so it's just got this little amber led here um, you're not gonna be able to see it well because we're in broad daylight but it's basically what i use as moonlight mode um, and then i have it set to a low a medium and a high and then basically like turbo um, and then you just hold down to turn it off so like you just tap through through modes and then hold a little longer and it cuts it off it's just different but it's really really good and it's very small i mean it looks like a little like a little bomb which is cool uh it's just wild now it's freaking expensive uh this was 700 dollars new you could just go buy it on their website which is cool it's over ready uh that's their website and this is the boss 35 35 means 35 uh, millimeter battery. And then they have a 75, which, well, maybe, I don't know what it is. Maybe the body is 35, whatever. But it takes 18,350. And then the they have one that takes 18,650, uh, which is basically the same head. It just has a longer body and you can put a bigger battery in. And then you can actually also just stack two 350s in there for fucking crazy power. Um, so I might at some point buy the longer body, which you can get for like 200 bucks or 150 bucks. And then you can use the head with both. You know what I mean? It's that kind of situation. Um, but that just seems cool. I like how small this is. So I don't know if I really want a long one, but at some point I do want to start testing some of the lights I have that have that kind of compatibility, you know? Uh, but yeah, it's wild. It's really cool. But here's the, uh, sensor mode. So you kind of just put it down on your um you put it on high it only works on high so it's on high and then i just put it up to my hand and you see how it cut down to moonlight mode and it's got a proximity sensor now i've tested it it doesn't work too great in my pocket so i don't know if it's really for that but i guess it's like if somebody walks up to it you know so you can turn it off though or you can adjust the sensitivity it's just has a lot of functionality. I know a lot of you guys don't care about flashlights, so I'll shut up now. Um, I also have my uh, another change. I've been carrying a wallet. So I'm using my phone to record, but I switched to not using a uh, wallet on my phone now. And that was because I really want to utilize MagSafe uh, with my new... Um, with my new phone. I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's another change, I guess. And I tried the wallet combos with cases and I found some really good ones. Check out my videos, the Magback, the Bellroy, the Spec. They're really, really good options. But then I got this Pataka case, MagEasy 4. That's really nice and it's really minimal, but their wallet option kind of sucked. And I just kind of liked having a slim phone again. So, Troy over at Northwoods um, offered to make me a card sleeve. So, because I said I carry it on my phone, I have a wallet so I can carry two cards, you know? So, I have my driver's license and I have my uh, and one credit card. And that way, I have anything I need really for when I can't use Apple Pay. For the most part, I use Apple Pay, but just today, twice I had to use a card. So you gotta have a card with you. So now I just have this really nice minimal card sleeve, which is basically my wallet. And that goes in my front pocket. And he made it out of ghost leather, it's fucking gorgeous. And then I just have my phone like normal, don't need the wallet thing on it. So um, that's knives, da, da, da. what else? Still got the Apple Watch Series 9, I'm back to the the regular sports strap. I had a titanium one for a little while. I'm just switching back and forth. I got my titanium uh, pill container in my uh, off the grid pants. That's something I should tell you about. Um, I started um, 
I ordered their pro pants. Um, I do have an off the grid video on the pants, but check it out. But I, their pro pants are really good. They're like kind of like painter's pants. I thought they would suck, but they're really comfortable. And I pair them now in the winter. I bought these uh, long johns from Step One. Step One is the brand that I've always been buying their boxers. They're just really comfortable. And they have this anti-chafe lining on the inner thigh that works great for me. So I saw they had long johns. I was like, ah, just give it a shot, why not? So I bought them. Now I have seven pairs and in the winter, it's really nice to wear these long johns. They're thin, but comfortable. And they work really well with those pro pants because the pro pants are relatively thin. Um, but they all have these, you know, extra pockets and shit. So that's where I keep my little pill container. This is, uh, you know, it looks like a little canister, a little propane tank or milk jug or whatever and um, made out of titanium. Got it on Amazon, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. I keep that in there with a little vial of a cocaine, no, I'm just kidding. A little vial of eye drops. I carry these uh, BioTrue lubricating eye drops. Um, if anybody knows where to get contact made, like ones for contacts that are singles, let me know because all I can find is just lubricating eye drops. I can't find specific ones for contacts, which I would prefer. Even BioTrue now has a contact lens drop and everything. And um, yeah, they just don't make the singles though. And I love these for this, because I just put one in my pocket every day. I might not use it, but um, you know, I probably use it. And then um, Whenever I do, the next day I just put a new one in there. And it's just nice to have, you know, the drops for those moments where my contacts get all kind of like, uh, where they hurt a little bit or whatever. Um, so I have those. And then Off The Grid sent me some flannels. And I'd never been a flannel guy really, but they sent me two of these. I actually just today, like 20 minutes ago, ordered another one because they have three colors. And they sent me two, so I was like, fuck it, I love this, so I'm gonna get the third color. So I ordered another one. That's how much I like it, but it's different than most flannels because it has the two pockets up here, but then it has a little zip pocket right here that's really nice. So you can just like drop your key. I mean, it goes all the way down into my armpit. Jesus, that's nice. You could, I mean, you could, <laughs> uh, but you could fit something in there that's comfortable, probably your phone. And then it has this pocket in the back. You probably won't see it, but right here, just the whole back side of this uh, flannel is a pocket. Um, I think it's traditional with like hunting flannels. So you could shove like a dead squirrel back there, or you know, you could probably put a firearm back there while you're trying to, you know, skin an animal or something like that. Um, you know, in their marketing, they show a guy who's like just pulling like a six pack out, like beer after beer. Um, you could fit a good amount back there, but I've found it really useful for quick moments where I'm getting my kid out of the car, right? I'm at the grocery store or whatever, and I just need to put my fucking keys somewhere for a second. And usually what I have to do is hook it to my belt like I always do, try to tuck it away so it's not jangling or it's not hitting my phone or whatever. And instead of doing all that or shove it into a, a pants pocket, but then it's in there with a knife or something else. Instead of doing that now, I just take the keys and I just pop them in this back pocket and I do whatever I need to do. And then when I need it, boom, I just pull them back out and they'll, I mean, they'll stay in there. That's a deep ass pocket. It's really nice. Um, they actually make a um, short sleeve version, I think called the Squirrely Dan. And that also has that pocket in the back. So if you don't want long sleeve, but check it out. I will link anything I talk about here. At least I'll try down below. Um, I always have a link for off the grid down there and a 15% discount code. So these are like $62, right? If you use my code with shipping and everything, you check out right around 60 bucks. Um, so you basically get shipping and then like five bucks off after all that um which i think is really good for the quality of these and the size is pretty much dead on i'm a 2x shirt and this is a 2x it's a little tight but not really once i washed it and then i wore it a couple times it broke in so it might feel a little tight after you first put it on after washing 
but their stuff always tends to stretch out just a little bit and perfectly fit me. Um, I really love what Off The Grid does. You guys know that. I mean, I've been raving about their pants. It's the only pants I have for years. And I've paid for it. Now they've sent me a couple of things. But I paid for everything the first year and a half, you know, until like last month. I probably spent two, three grand on their pants and whatnot. So I'm not shilling over here. I'm just telling you what I love. Uh, that's, that's exactly what this channel is about. So I think that's it, guys. I think I'm gonna go back inside with my kid. And um, that's my EDC update for um, December. Oh, there's one other thing. I do have this new quick release. Did I show you this? I think I had just gotten these in the last one. And then Countycom sent me these Ultim ones. And you can get them in titanium as well. And I think they have a large one. But basically, it's a really cool, um, quick release there's only one downside to it but it's in ultim so it weighs nothing um they also sent me this little tritium keychain thing and it's really nice uh in the pitch dark you know i can always spot my keys or whatever uh, and it's just kind of cool you know what i mean and yeah i know it's tritium you don't want that next to your ball sack whatever um i don't put my keys next to my balls um <laughs> but uh yeah my keys are down to this I've really minimized my keys. I just hate having shit on there. I took the pen and the toothpick off because the pen fe kept falling out for some reason. I don't know why all of a sudden it just wouldn't stay in. Eventually I lost it. It just fell out somewhere and I couldn't find it. So no more pen on my keys. And then the toothpick I just never used. So I took that off. So I'm down to the world's greatest carabiner. Okay. If you take anything away from this video... It's, use my links in the, you know, it's okay. Um, the JRW Tough Clip is the greatest carabiner in the world. I know it just looks like an overpriced paper clip. Trust. It is the shit. Um, it works so flawlessly. And then when you don't need it, it's just so minimal that it doesn't take up all this space like carabiners do. I love it so much. Um, but anyway, I have this set up so that I can just quick release my uh, my car key, leave it in the truck. I can pop this off and go to my P.O. box or whatever. If I have my wife and kid in the car or it's the middle of winter and I want to leave the car running, I can just jump out, lock the truck, and because uh, I have a keypad on the truck, and then go in and then come back and my truck's still warm or my kid and my wife are still comfortable, right? Um, so this thing weighs nothing and you just have to pull on this little barrel you pull on that and it pops off now the downside is you have to pull it again to pop it on so you can't just push and pop it on you have to pull down which is a little harder to do it's pretty easy when you have you know you have that tension from pulling to just do this but if this is sitting in the uh the steering wheel or whatever trying to come back in here and then pull and push this at the same time is just you know my hand is here to help guide it but like you know trying to just get this dongle here and then pull down and then push and just a little more difficult than the prometheus uh lights one where you just pull and you just push you know it's just spring tension um this has some kind of mechanism grabbing it but that's a minor thing um to worry about but i just want to mention it but i've been carrying it like this for a few weeks and i love it i don't think i'm changing it because it's just so minimal it's such a short quick release and then it's very light um uh, it's strong it looks cool you know and then uh the other cool thing about these is they're cheap as shit so if you go to county com uh there's a link down below and you could use my uh, discount code. It should be Lefty10 or Lefty EDC. You'll get 10% off. These are like $6.99. You can get them in titanium for like $8.99. I mean, it's they're really, really cheap. They have an XL. They have all kinds of shit at Counting Com. Go check them out. They're super cheap. Um, really, really like what they're doing over there. It's all like military surplus type stuff. So, all right. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you so much 
for continuing to support the channel. It's been three years now, and I feel like I feel like it's been a good journey. You know, uh, I've definitely gotten better at a lot of things. Um, you know, I'm still a dumbass, but you know, it is what it is. And I love interacting with you guys. I love the feedback, and um, yeah, it's just been a blast. So. Uh, here's to another three years, and I hope you guys have a, a really, really wonderful holiday. Um, this should come out before the holiday, and um, have a Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, um, you know, uh, enjoy your loved ones, and if you need to talk to anybody, reach out to me, reach out to someone else in the comments, we're all here for you guys. Um, I know we're not all in-person friends, but... Um, I do love each and every one of you, and I mean that. So I um, hope you guys have a great day. I love you all, and um, I will catch you later.